I'm Christina Speck, Assistant Professor of Music Education here, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about a project I've been working on, uh, essentially meta-analyzing music aptitude. Um, so what is music aptitude? Uh, Ed Gordon defined it as the potential to achieve. It's theoretical. We have instruments that potentially measure this potential to achieve music excellence. Um, but I was finding uh, throughout some of my other meta-analysis work that we're overusing music aptitude uh, assessments uh, just to kind of throw it in to see if, if group differences are there or uh, for one reason or another we're using it to, to measure group differences where it, it seems inadequate or inappropriate to do so. So uh, my primary research question was is uh, music aptitude a thing or is it a thing because we keep making it a thing as researchers? So my first music, uh, my first meta-analysis on music aptitude, I had a wide scope and I basically gathered everything to see, okay, what exactly are we looking at? Um, I presented that last summer and it was a mess, <laughs> but it was great. <laughs> People were very upset that I did this. <laughs> so I got my scope much, much smaller to look at music aptitude and music achievement because there was so much research regarding music aptitude and music achievement and the correlation right there, which is closer to what I was getting to. So what I found, I used a, right now, this is still in process research, so I'll, what I, I used a fixed effects model using syntax by uh, Andy Fields. Andy Fields, eventually I'll, I'll go into R, but right now that's what I'm using. Uh, I found a medium effect size, right? So yes, we can see that there is a correlation there between uh, music aptitude and music achievement, which would make sense. The potential for music achievement correlates with music achievement. That's pretty obvious. Uh, however, uh, so, so far I've got about 24 studies with my initial meta-analysis. I excluded all dissertations because that seems to be where we are most guilty of using music aptitude measures for anything in music education research. So now I'm filtering through all of the many dissertations uh, to, to glean the ones that have to do specifically with music aptitude and music achievement. <laughs> Obviously it was heterogeneous data set. So I continued on to my moderator variable analyses that I had chosen before the study began. Uh, obviously population level. So some things arose just looking at this preliminary analysis. Um, we see there were some interesting results with second grade and fourth grade. Second grade in particular because with music aptitude we have what we call um, up until about age eight or nine we have developmental music aptitude where it shifts around. Now uh, theoretically music aptitude everybody is born with an innate amount of music aptitude and it changes based on experience until age nine. After age nine that plasticity happens and then it's stabilized. So we're finding a really small uh, effect size with second grade. We think that it might have, after having conversations uh, with many people in the field, we're starting to realize that there uh, might be some pretty big problems with the instrumentation itself, with the way we're measuring it, which, by the way, we are measuring music aptitude uh, based on differentiation. Are two patterns the same or different rhythmically or, or, or melodically? And then um, how that uh, interacts with short-term memory. So that's how we're saying, yes, you have potential to achieve many things in music. Aptitude measures, there are a variety of aptitude measures. Something else that has come out of this thus far is that we haven't been looking in America at uh, continuing to develop these aptitude measures beyond 1980. So they're very outdated. We're doing a lot more development outside of America, but in America we're still kind of stuck. So, and of course achievement measure type. Uh, thus far the biggest things to come out of it is, is we need to keep looking at it. It's something that everybody cares about. It's something that's important for education. Thank you. <laughs>